Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome, inspired by something that I saw on the front page of Reddit the other day. This is the Under Overdoor. Now it's not as big as a 4x4, and it certainly isn't as fancy as a 6x6, but I can promise you that this is twice as much fun. All we have to do is hit this button here, you will see we travel across the bottom, and then pop back up on the other side, so we can pick up our boats and hose, and have a fantastic time. Then once we're done, all you have to do is walk across this pressure plate, and the wooden door acts like normal. Absolutely brilliant. Now although this door may be fairly comical, the novelty of it might wear off just a little bit when you take a look at all of the redstone behind it. So what I'm gonna do is remove all of these blocks, and let's take a look at all of its wiry bits. Here is the under overdoor in all of his glory, and I have to admit, it is a little bit of a mess. There is tons of stuff occurring, in fact, if we hit this button here, you will see that there is redstone flashing, pistons extending and retracting, and it's all happening all at once. But one thing that I do want to run you through is a few of the circuits that I've used in this build that I personally think are really interesting. So what we have here is we've got a slime block, and when it extends and retracts, it actually pulls this block with it. So what we do is we push that block back to its original position using this piston. You'll see it happen. It's very quick, so you might not be able to catch it, but there it was. The same thing happens on this side, it just happens vertically. So if you hit the button, you will see that this piston over here gets sucked downwards, but then it is also pushed back up by that piston down at the bottom so that it can recreate the trapdoor. Now another interesting piece of circuitry that I'm sure you're all fairly confused about is this little magic button. The button is floating one block above the piston. And that is because we've got this redstone clock here that is keeping that piston up to date, checking for blocks around it that are powered, and it will check for this block right here, that when the button is pressed, of course, the block is powered, so then the piston will extend, initiating the entire circuit. Really very cool stuff. So to start things off, you want a five by nine area. This level here is going to be your floor, so that is four blocks above your ground level. And the first thing that I would suggest doing is finding the middle block on the across section and going right the way up to the surface and placing down your door. It can be wooden, it can be iron, whichever one you would prefer, but then you want to go a couple of blocks along like this and two blocks up like that, placing down your button, then take down this block and place a sticky piston facing downwards with a cauldron and a water bucket on the inside. So it's a filled cauldron, that is very important, otherwise the comparator won't be able to take an output. So then what we have to do is go a couple more blocks down like this, place a comparator coming out like that, and then a block with some redstone dust on the top. Now to finish up the magic button, you want to place a hopper on top of that redstone dust, a hopper running into it, then take out that hopper and make it so that they both connect up. Then you want to head over here, place a block up like this, coming out of there with a comparator on top, and then a half slab with some redstone dust on the top of that one. Then grab any old item and place it into the hoppers and you will see that now your magic button should be working. Now we're going to work on the first hidden trapdoor, so you want to go over to the cauldron and place a sticky piston next to it, another sticky piston, and then another one facing upwards with your floor block on its face, and then you want to head over to the redstone dust, place a block down here, a repeater running into a block with a redstone torch on top, and then another block right here. Now, what you have to do is place a block like this and a block like this one with a repeater, set it to two ticks running into these two pistons, and you should see that both of them will extend. And then you want to go underneath, place a redstone torch, block up like this, and just blocks carrying out like that with redstone dust on the top of both of these, and then a block of obsidian or some kind of a movable object down at the bottom. So now if we get it, give it a tester, you should see that we get a working trapdoor, which is perfect. Now for a little bit of slime block action. What you want to do is place a block like this, a sticky piston here, and then a regular piston right next to that one with a slime block on the face of the sticky piston. Now you want to head over to this side, place a block with a repeater, set it to four ticks, running into a sticky piston with a block on top. That's going to make your monostable circuit. And then you just want to place another repeater, set to two ticks, running into a block, and you want to carry out these blocks all the way around like this with redstone dust just there, and then a repeater set to three ticks running into that piston right there. Now you want to head down here, place a couple blocks just like this with a repeater, no ticks on that one, and redstone dust up at the top, and that will create your little slime block move in action, so if you hit the button once again, you will see this is how it all works. 
Now we're going to start work on the opposite side. So you want to head over to your hoppers right next to this half slab here and place two sticky pistons and a sticky piston facing upwards with a floor block on its face. This is obviously going to make up the other side of the trapdoors. So now you want to head over to this little piece of redstone dust right here and place a piece of block and a repeater running out of that one running into another block redstone torch right there a block on top of it and then blocks running round into those pistons with a repeater set to two ticks running into those two then you want to place a block here two half slabs running along like this and then a piece of obsidian or an immovable object then you want to place redstone dust on top of all of these and that will make up the second trap door the next thing that you want to be doing is going underneath this second trapdoor, placing a sticky piston facing upwards with slime block on top, and then another regular piston right next to it also facing upwards. Then you want to go out the side here, place some redstone torch right on the side of this block, and then a block up like this, redstone dust right there, place a block on top of that redstone dust to stop those two pieces canoodling. Then you want to go two blocks along like this, a repeater set to four ticks, and a repeater set to one tick, running into a sticky piston with a block on top to make another piston monostable, and then a block here with a repeater set to two ticks, running into that sticky piston with the slime block on top. Now you want to find your way under all of this and place two blocks along like this running out from that block and then they are going to be running straight into this block here with a repeater set to three ticks and a repeater set to four ticks. Then you want to come out like this, place two blocks with a repeater once again set to four ticks and some redstone dust right next to that regular piston. So now in terms of redstone you should be good to go so if you place a block of ice and then two pieces of compressed ice right there that is all of the circuitry complete and you've got yourself a fully functional little mechanism one thing that i do want to say is if your computer is a little bit on the laggy side then you might want to change this repeater down here next to the monostable circuit that goes into the vertical slime block to two ticks that will mean that everything runs smoothly so if we give it a very quick test you should be able to see that when we hit the button we travel along the bottom and then get pushed upwards and land on top of this block so that is the entire under over door complete and finished but that unfortunately ladies and gentlemen is all i've got time for for today i hope that you have enjoyed today's video if you did please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make Make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys this has been mumbo and i'm out i'll see you later